Hello and welcome back to another vlog. It has been a while since I have vlogged and I am very sorry about that if you have been keeping up with my videos. Um, if you have, thank you so much for watching. Um, but yes, I thought I would vlog because today me and my boyfriend are off on holiday. We are going to Sweden for around five days, six nights I think. Um, our travel's been slightly moved so I'm kind of trying to figure out how long we're there for. We originally booked this for seven days but our travel got moved so yeah, just trying to get my head into what we're doing. But yeah, we are just about to head to the airport. Um, Our flight's not till eight this evening but we're gonna head there for about five half five we've got a little bit of duty-free shopping to do we're going to see our swedish friends and they're big fans of whiskey and all things scottish so we're gonna pick them up some bits in duty-free to take over with us and we only have hand luggage so we can't bring anything obviously in our bags which has been a bit of a stress to like pack and get everything to fit in my case and the liquid allowance and all of that so yeah, I've sorted all of that. We've just been chilling today and it's around four o'clock and we're going to head on the tram to the airport and get there nice and early and just chill. I'm very much one of those people that's like, I like to be early for a flight. I don't like to be rushing. I don't mind sitting in an airport if it means that I'm just not stressed. So yeah, um, just kind of getting ready for the airport at the moment and then we will head off soon. But yeah, I just wanted to catch up, check in. Um, it's obviously summer now, which is so great. Um, I'm loving this warmer weather, although the weather in Scotland recently has been really, really bad. So I'm looking forward to getting a little bit more sunshine. The Swedish weather looks quite good at the moment. It's obviously quite similar to here because we're in similar parts of the world, but yes, um, excited to get a bit of sunshine. We are going to a spot which is kind of well known to our friends and we've booked an Airbnb with us and then six other people. So it should be a really good laugh. I'm really looking forward to it. And it's gonna be midsummer on Friday, which is a big Swedish festival. It's essentially just the longest day of the year. I think obviously we have it in the UK as well, but it's not as like wildly celebrated. I think it's like a public holiday over there. So we're gonna kind of land tonight and then see what happens the rest of the weekend. But I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited and I just love that part of the world. So I thought I'd bring you along with us. I'm not sure how many videos I would do. I don't know, I'll maybe do two because we're there for quite a long time. So I might split it up, but yes. I'm so excited to be back vlogging and yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. day now and we are in the supermarket and we're gonna do a shop for the weekend so me and George are also gonna pick up some snacks to try so I might do that in this video or maybe a TikTok but yeah I'm gonna go and find some food and explore the supermarket so I'm just looking at the chocolate bars this could be interesting salted caramel that you know marabou is their kind of famous chocolate oh a strawberry dime that was kind of cool So we have got the biggest selection of Swedish snacks. I'm so excited to try all these. I think I've had these before and I've had these before, but I'm so excited to try all of these. And this is the size of our shopping trolley right now. Mental, but yeah. Also had good non-alcoholic options. I got this orange spritz and then I also just got, uh, I think we've got this in the UK, but the sparkling rosés. The fact that this isn't even all of our bags. Are you excited? Yeah, I don't think Vic is. Look at that face of depression. I don't know if you can flip your camera. Look at that man. 
Contemplating <laughs> life. <laughs> Gabby, oh. hold the hold up the receipt. <laughs> oh my god. George is going full on dad mode with the fucking guitar. So it's a little bit later on now and I thought I'd give you a little tour of our place because it is so nice. I am looking rather worse for wear. I'm just gonna go and sunbathe for a bit because it is so warm, which I feel like we're so lucky that we've got such good weather that we're able to just sunbathe and chill this afternoon. I didn't get the best sleep um, last night, so I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm not usually one for napping and I feel like I need a nap and I've already had a coffee today and I also never drink coffee. So I feel like that is definitely saying something, but yeah, let me show you around and it's such a nice place, so yeah. So as you come through the front door, it's just a little kind of greeting area, I guess, but we've not really used this yet. Um, there's a sofa there um, and then you walk through. And then we've got lots of storage for all of our clothes. There's about seven of us staying, so it's quite good that we have all that storage for all of our stuff. Then we come through here and this is Gabby and Vic's room. And then this is mine and George's room. It's a bit of a mess right now, but this is our bed, which looks super comfy to be fair. Um, got all our clothes there and the Swedish snacks that I spoke about. So we're going to try those probably maybe in a TikTok, I think. I love all the wallpaper as well. Like how stunning is that? So nice. And then you walk through here and we've got the living room. We've kind of trashed this place, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and then come through here this mag fridge oh my god dreamy and then the kitchen and then it looks out onto the outdoor bit which i won't film because the girls are sunbathing right now but i might film it later on for a montage but like this table literally came all made and ready so yeah so nice literally so lucky with this place um our friend vic booked it um and he smashed it it's so nice and perfectly secluded but then we can also go down to the beach um and sit by the water if we want to but yeah i'm just gonna go and enjoy the sunshine now and have a drink and sunbathe for a bit and i will catch up with you later no just taking a nap looks okay. like it so it's a little bit later on now and i am just soaking up the end of the afternoon slash evening sun it's like seven o'clock I have a little non-alcoholic Aperol and I'm just sat chilling whilst everyone else is inside getting ready and sorted for dinner. I think we're going to do a barbecue or in Sweden they call it grill here. Um, so I think we're having like grilled veg, um, sausages, burgers, things like that. So we're going to do that. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. Probably just chill. We're all quite tired after a busy travel day and obviously we had a late late night last night so to be honest I'm excited for my pet um and then tomorrow is midsummer so midsummer is a celebration in Sweden that I will probably d delve into a bit more tomorrow I might even try and get one of our friends to explain what midsummer means and kind of the tra traditions behind it because it's really interesting but yeah for now we're just gonna chill I'm quite hungry so I'm excited for some food. I'm going to show you my view as well because it's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully the sun isn't gonna blind the view. So this is outside of our cabin and it is just so stunning. I might actually take you down to the outside. That's not the right way to go. Um, apparently these houses go for like crazy money in Sweden so we're lucky to get it on Airbnb. But yeah, this is our little house for the weekend and it's just so stunning. I love how it's like in the hills, a little Swedish flag, which all the houses here have. Um, we've got the grill and the outdoor area and the sun has just been setting so nicely on this area all evening. So I just thought I would check in because I have been the world's worst vlogger today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's been such a busy day and to be honest, I'm just getting ready for bed because I'm quite frankly knackered. We didn't get in from the airport until like 1, 2 a.m. last night and we had such a bad sleep. Which is fine because today was always just going to be a chill one and then tomorrow is midsummer. So we can celebrate obviously then and hopefully just wake up feeling nice and fresh. We have a beautiful decking obviously outside that I want to 
wake up to in the morning and make a nice cup of tea and maybe do like a yoga session or like a low intensity workout session um because why the hell not it's so beautiful and I just feel like especially with not drinking I feel like I want to make the most of being able to wake up and have that extra time in the morning to do that so that is a plan for the morning so I want to get as much sleep as possible um to make the most of that also ignore this slightly tinted lip balm I picked this up in Superdrug before we left and I thought it was just a uh, like rose flavoured um lip balm and then I realised it was tinted when I got home and to be honest it is quite nice but it's like a bit much for just going to bed but it's fine I will take it anyway but I thought I would just check in to the vlog excuse my disgusting hair I've like had my hair curly and then I just brushed it and sprayed some water in it and now it looks insanely greasy but it's fine, I'm just going to read it tomorrow. Um, but yes, I thought I would check in and just say hi slash bye for today. And I will no doubt check in tomorrow morning um, when I'm a bit more awake and I can actually formulate sentences. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day and we are just out on a walk in the sunshine. I got up this morning and did a quick yoga session which I'll pop some clips in here it was so nice just as the sun was rising and now we are walking down to the water um, Apparently over there is where all the midsummer celebrations are going to be later. So it's quite interesting. But yeah, for now we're just going to walk down to the water, just have some breakfast, um, and then yeah, I'm not sure what's on the agenda for the rest of the day. Saturday now and we have just had a very slow morning after sorry I have just done a full video of Swedish snacks and the chocolate and the sweets is quite intense so excuse me just one second yeah so we have had quite a slow morning because last night was midsummer celebrations so we just had a lovely evening a lovely meal um, went down to the kind of like uh, close by park and they had um, the midsummer celebrations with the traditional um, like dancing around the pole and there was a singer and um, like a band and everything it was it was super cute and then yeah we just came back and chilled we have a hot tub here so we went in the hot tub there's a sauna um, and it was just it was great vibes and then to be honest I started to feel a little bit ill so I had to bed a bit, bit early which was a bit of a shame but I'm feeling a lot, lot more fresh today um, and we have just done our Swedish snack haul. We got so much stuff, we got loads of like sweets, biscuits, these like chocolate covered crisp things um, and we did it all for TikTok so if you want to go and see that it will probably be live on my TikTok. Um, but there were so many weird things. Like, got a strawberry dime, but um, didn't really taste of strawberry. Today, I think it's just gonna be more of a chill day. Um, everyone's quite tired, and some people, some people are feeling a bit worse for wear and hungover. So I think we are just going to maybe maybe hop in the hot tub again. It is around one o'clock now. So yeah, we're just gonna have a slow afternoon. Maybe go on a walk um and then I think we're doing another barbecue tonight because we've got quite a few bits left over just from the last couple of days and then tomorrow is our last day out here before we go back into the city and 
George and I have a hotel booked for a few nights to just chill in Stockholm and explore and kind of go back because we went obviously last summer um, and it was so good so we want to kind of just go back and walk around and experience it again. It'll be a bit nicer weather as well which we're so excited about so I will keep checking in throughout the next couple of days but yeah I will see you soon. see I am in a bit of a different location now and I thought I would just check in because I've not been the best at picking up the camera over the last couple of hours I guess but we are in Stockholm now in the city we have just checked into our hotel I've just showered freshened up because we had a very early start this morning to get out of our Airbnb over in the area outside of Stockholm that we were staying in so we're a little bit tired but we're gonna get freshened up and then go out um for some dinner and just kind of walk around and take in the vibe of Stockholm because it's such a cool city. Um, so I'm just gonna get ready and we can have a little catch up. So we have spent, I think it's been, well, we arrived on Wednesday. So it'll have been three kind of full days um, out in a place called Ingaro. I think it's, that's how you pronounce it. I really hope I'm not butchering that. Um, but yeah, it's a place called Ingaro and it's just outside of Stockholm um, on this kind of beautiful, island I guess um but obviously like Stockholm is made up of loads of different islands so it kind of doesn't really feel like you're that like secluded but it was basically on the water um of the Baltic Sea I want to say um and we just spent the most magical few days there with our friends we got such good weather which we were a little bit um apprehensive about because the forecast kept changing and it was saying rain and apparently with mid midsummer, it's like a massive thing for the weather to kind of not go your way. So we were very, very lucky to have just incredible weather pretty much the whole time. I think today and yesterday were our only really cloudy days and it's still like really warm. So we were really lucky with that. Um, but yeah, we've had the best time and we are excited to just be in the city now and to explore Stockholm because we came last year and it was incredible. Um, we came a little bit earlier in the year. It was about May time that we came. So we're really excited to be back. But last night, or I guess this morning, um, George and I said to ourselves that because it was our last night over in Ingaro, that we would um, make the most of the midsummer sun and go and see the sunrise because the sun rises here or out there definitely um, at like 3.30 a.m. So we went out at like three in the morning. I actually vlogged a little bit of it and I'm probably going to pop a little TikTok up of it um, because it was so much fun. And even though we were so tired, the views were absolutely stunning. Um, I think I took a clip, so I'll pop that in here now. It was just beautiful and honestly like the houses out there are genuinely like so nice. I think we've made it a new life goal to one day have a house out there because it is absolutely stunning um, and just such a dreamy part of the world that I think we're both so grateful to have experienced considering we are not from the area and probably would never have known about it unless we went with our friends. So um it was really special but in general it was as you'll have seen from the clips i think i did manage to vlog quite a lot i was kind of battling so i was like i do want to vlog but i don't want it to take over our trip and i just kind of wanted to be present and enjoy peaceful time but um as you will see from the clips um we well you'll hopefully see um that we just had such a chill few days and it was kind of exactly what we both needed. We really just made the most of the sunshine and hung out at the house and just chatted and caught up with our friends. There was quite a lot of drinking, which was fun for George, I guess. Um, I had a couple of drinks on midsummer because that is kind of the tradition um, over here is to basically get drunk on midsummer. Um, and not that I felt like peer pressure to, to get drunk or anything I definitely wasn't drunk I literally just had a few gins but it was 
it was really nice and it was lovely weather so it it felt apt in the moment which was nice um and then we i think i mentioned it in one of, one of my previous clips but we kind of went down after we had some drinks and lunch with our friend's family we went down to the traditional like midsummer celebrations where they do like songs and like the kids are all dancing and it was honestly one of the most wholesome things I've ever been to. Um, Sweden and like Swedish people are just so lovely and it was just, it epitomised everything I, like I knew about Sweden. It was just so lovely. Everyone had like flower crowns on um, and it just really was, it was really nice. My bronzer always comes up so much like more orange on this camera than it does in real life. So just please bear that in mind. It's not this orange. I'm just blending it out like insanely from looking at myself in the camera and then when I look at myself in the mirror I'm like oh it's not that bad but today we are obviously you know back in Stockholm and we've just checked into our hotel it's actually the most lovely hotel we kind of booked it on a bit of a whim and um, because we didn't know what our plans were going to be in terms of where we were staying and stuff and how long we were going to be out in Garo so um yeah we booked this really last minute but it's so nice what's the hotel called Jay? it's Haymarket Haymarket by Scandic mm -hmm. um so yeah it's really nice it's like 1920s vibes um so perfect for the next few days um we are pretty central um which is good because the last time we were here we stayed in the airbnb which was absolutely lovely um but it was obviously a little bit further out we were in sodermalm which is like south sweden uh, south stockholm um which was lovely like it was such a nice area we were over by this beautiful viewpoint which I think we might go to again because you just see the best sunset and sunrise there so we might go there tonight or tomorrow night and watch that um but it's so much nicer to be like in the centre today and like be able to just walk out onto the street and go to the shops and pick up like a smoothie or whatever so yeah it actually feels like weird to be doing my makeup because all week I've not really worn any makeup I think on midsummer i wore a little bit of mascara and like did my eyebrows but that was about it because it's been so hot i really don't like wearing makeup when it's warm like i just feel really like sweaty and disgusting so yeah i've not really had any makeup on and i actually have been using as like a bit of a substitute to just give me a bit of a glow i have just been using the sorry it's got the hair um i have just been using the saint tropez what is this i think it's just the it's like the self tan it's the self-tan bronzing water, um, but I just love this because it gives your skin moisture, but also is just very natural. It's like a very natural colour. I don't find that it's too orange. And um, I find that the way that it sprays on just looks very natural. So yeah, I've been wearing this pretty much the whole time, which is probably why I look a little bit tanned as well, um, because my face doesn't really get very tanned. Not that my body really does either. So yes, it's about four o'clock now, I think. So we're gonna head out probably just wander around there's not too much that we want to do today necessarily we just kind of thought we would give ourselves a bit of like a recovery day today um and then tomorrow is our pretty much only full day in Stockholm unfortunately we were meant to have Tuesday as our well kind of like half day but our flights got moved to an earlier time so it means we don't really have any time um on Tuesday so tomorrow will be the main event which um, is absolutely fine and we will make the most of it so we're just gonna have like a chill day and evening and um, I think we're maybe gonna go grab some pizza and just yeah enjoy Stockholm it's quite warm as well so hopefully we'll just wander around and yeah enjoy the city <laughs> Monday now and I thought I would check in and vlog pretty much all of this day um, because I haven't been the best with vlogging this trip but I thought we're in the city we are gonna walk around and make the most of the nice weather because it's literally like 25 degrees today so have a nice dress on and we're gonna go for breakfast at a spot where we went last year and it was one of our favourite places 
Um, it's down in Ganlistan, if you know Stockholm, um, in a place, um, it is called Skeps Bro. Um, so they do amazing, George just directed me. Um, they do amazing fika and coffee, and you can sit by the water um, and yeah, just enjoy the sunset. We're gonna do that, and then probably just walk around. We might go to a few more of the islands. Um, but yeah, really just gonna soak in this nice weather before we leave tomorrow. So we're we going there now. and this is a dream. Look at our setup. So good. Um, so excited to see these. We are on a ferry, which is kind of fun. Um, obviously, Sweden is made up of lots of islands, so you can walk or get a ferry. Well, no. Yeah, I guess you can walk or get a bus or the bridge. Or get the train. But I don't think all the islands have bridges connecting them. Uh, some of them yeah. you have to... They've got very good public transport. Yeah. It's an absolutely beautiful day. George and I were just commenting on how big the houses are around here. Like, look at the size of that. Huge. We're currently walking through this gorgeous park. It's not a pill, so I'm going out of breath. It's so beautiful. Um, and we're going to go to like a garden, basically a beauty garden centre. There's also a castle up there. So this place just like, I feel like everywhere in Stockholm just feels like a picture book. Like everything looks fake because it's so clean. It's so beautiful. Sponsored a dinner. So we are just on our way back from Jura Garden and we're gonna head back to the hotel. We went over to Jura Garden and oh, just got. Got my foot. I've done it. We just walked around. It was super beautiful, but we're quite tired, so we're gonna head back, maybe grab a juice from Joe and the Juice, because I believe they're Swedish or maybe Danish, but there are literally Joe and the Juice everywhere, and we love their juices, so we're gonna go and get one, recharge at the hotel, and then head out for the evening. We're planning on going to. I think it's Kung's Garden, which is another um, island here. And there's a lovely um, like bar restaurant by the water. So we're gonna head there and maybe do some shopping around Ostermann, which is kind of nearer where our hotel is as well this afternoon. So yeah, mm, this had to be done. Also matches my dress. But George is obsessed with these now. I'm a changed man. Because we literally, they taste like milkshakes. Um, I think this was the... Power shake. Yep. Um, it just mm. tastes like strawberry yuzu. Mm. So good. But actually healthier. It's yeah, it's got, I think it's just vanilla. Banana and strawberry. Milk, banana and strawberry, yeah. Very yummy. That right, which is one of the islands here in Stockholm, and we just walked along the water and went to a really cool, like, bar restaurant called Eden. Um, it was kind of expensive though, and they didn't really have much that George and I really could eat. There was a lot of nuts, a lot of fish, which I am intolerant slash allergic to. So we have decided to come to another restaurant, which is just down the path, um, which is really chilled and a bit more our vibe. Um, they just have like burgers and stuff like that. So 
we're gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of the evening sun because it's absolutely glorious it's like still like 20 degrees um and yeah we're right on the water i will show you so these are the vibes and then there was like a pontoon kind of bit but it was really busy and it was also moving um and george gets really seasick so we decided to come back over here but it's so lovely look at that sun so george is just ordering our food now um and then we're probably just gonna head back to the hotel to be honest after this because we have quite an early flight tomorrow well it's like 11 but we need to be at the airport at like 8 so obviously we need to be up a little bit earlier um so yeah so we need to go back and pack but this has been like the most gorgeous day and i would just feel so grateful to be here and be enjoying such a beautiful holiday um i'm sad to go home and back to reality tomorrow but um alas it's been such a beautiful holiday and just got to make the most of the rest of today so we're in duty free and we're laughing because i've got snacks for my office and george has snooze and wine <laughs> The disparities. Hey, it's what my friends wanted. They wanted some cheap snooze. Oh. What are you doing? These are exactly <laughs> Those are needs. the egg. No. Personified. Nay. Oh. We are at the airport now. Um, it's about 8.30. Yeah. Um, we got a taxi in, which if you are planning on coming to Stockholm and you want to get, the Orlando Express. get to the airport, do not get a taxi. We got on the Orlando Express last year and it was like 50 pounds, 50, 60 pounds. And we thought that was quite expensive. So we, sorry, I was looking for the lounge. Um, yes, yeah, so we got a taxi and basically it was, it was super expensive. It was like a hundred pounds. So basically all concept of money does not exist anymore. Um, and we just spent loads in duty free, but it's fine. We're gonna go find the lounge and just chill, but yes. So George has an American Express card and we walked past the American Express lounge and managed to wangle our way in. So we're in here, it's super lovely. I have a little plate of breakfast and a tea and apple juice. I think we're just gonna chill here until our flight. We were going to head to the usual lounge because I think you can get that on American Express as well. That's the one that we went to in Edinburgh. Um, I think that, what was the one in Edinburgh called? Do you the pla Plaza or something? Yeah. And it wasn't very good. The food was kind of rubbish. It's just um, very dirty. And it was, yeah, it was quite dirty. So if you are planning to head there, I, like it's fine, it's nice and it's nice to sit. But if you want to drink, like it's worth the money if you want free luggage. If you're gonna drink enough to pay for what you pay, yeah. If you're going, like, don't go for the food. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like, there's an Edinburgh gin bar and stuff, which is lovely, but we weren't drinking, so like it, yeah, the food's not great. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. We're just gonna chill here until our flight. 